Sometimes TV show creators push the limits when writing an episode. Whether it's touching on a controversial topic or violent scenes in a show made for kids, things like this lead to episodes getting banned and never being shown again. Today, I'll be going over five episodes that got banned from television. Dexter's Laboratory has always been one of my favorite Cartoon Network shows. Something that made this cartoon unique is the segments with the Justice Friends and Dexter's Monkey, which consists of Dexter's pet monkey turning into a superhero. During part two of episode four of Dial In For Monkey, he is trying to save the world from two villains, Barbecuer, who is a parody character of Galactus, and the Silver Spooner, which is a parody of the Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four. The Silver Spooner is considered to be a stereotype of gay men. The episode also featured a scene at the end that shows Crunk from the Justice Friends getting drunk. After its initial airing, this episode was banned. However, this wasn't a result of the stereotypes. The real reason for the episode being banned is because the creators of Silver Surfer were not happy with the way the character was portrayed. They made threats stating copyright infringement and misuse of the character. Following this, the episode was never shown on TV again, but it was included in the Season 1 DVD on Region 4. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a supernatural drama TV series that was created after the success of the 1992 film. It ran for 7 seasons and 144 episodes on the WB from 1997 to 2003. Today, I want to discuss Season 3, Episode 18, Earshot. During the episode Earshot, Buffy uses her mind-reading ability and overhears a student that is planning a mass murder. After tracking him down, he denies this and says that he just wants to kill himself. This episode was set to air one week after the Columbine shootings happened so the cast and crew decided it would be a good idea to not show this one. However, just a few months later, the episode would eventually air, and the show's schedule would return back to normal. This is an example of how, of no fault of the show creator, it was just bad timing and the episode had to go for a while. Pokemon is the best cartoon that was based off of a video game. The show is very popular and has ran for over a thousand episodes. Today, I'm going to talk about episode 38 titled Computer Warrior Porygon. It begins with Ash, Misty, and Brock trying to find out the problem with the Pokeball transmitting device. As per usual, Team Rocket is behind this. After literally going inside the device, Ash goes into battle with Team Rocket when Pikachu attacks an antivirus program with Thunderbolt causing an explosion that flashes blue and red at a rapid speed. When this happened, it caused more than 10,000 people watching to get massive headaches, nausea, dizziness, and in more severe cases, it caused viewers to faint and have seizures. After this happened, Pokemon went off the air for five months. The episode Computer Warrior Porygon was banned from TV. Also, creators of the show went back to edit other episodes that may have involved flashing colors at a quick speed. The Pokemon Porygon and Porygon 2 are also overshadowed by this massive error because they never had another episode revolving around them. The Japanese dub of the episode can be found online, however an English dub has never surfaced to this day. Ash's voice actress Veronica Taylor said during an interview in 2004 that the Porygon episode wasn't done in English. But during a Q&A with Maddie Blaustein who voiced Meowth, she claimed that four kids did produce the episode in English, with the color flashing scene edited out this time. This was later confirmed by voice actor Eric Stewart who voiced Brock in the series. He said the episode was done in English and that he had watched it before. This scene was a huge oversight by the crew editing the episode, but I'm glad they learned from it and we haven't heard any similar stories since episode 38. Aqua Teen Hunter Force is a TV series that was created for Adult Swim in the year 2000. It ran for 11 seasons and 139 episodes, coming to an end in 2015. On January 31st of 2007, 
Aqua Teen ran into controversy when some promotional LED lights of the Moon Knights that were for the Aqua Teen movie got posted around Boston were mistaken for bombs by the Boston Police Department. This led to a big panic as the lights were placed in surrounding cities as well. All major news sources covered this story and it led to the people who posted the lights getting arrested that night. The Boston police were criticized by many journalists and writers for overreacting to the lights. Funny enough, the creators of the show decided to kick off season 5 with an episode about the incident titled, Boston. It starts off with Shake attempting to sell Meatwad on a bidding website to earn some extra cash. No one places any bids, so Shake decides to go to Boston in order to gain publicity for the auction. Frylock, Shake, and Meatwad board a plane, and Meatwad is placed in a cross space where he is surrounded by batteries and wires resembling the LED lights of the Moon Knights. They arrive in Boston, and after failing to wait for buyers, the ghost of Paul Revere shows up and introduces them to Ben Franklin, who purchases Meatwad. He gets struck by lightning multiple times and is mistaken for a bomb by people in the city. The Aqua Teen Hunter Force are told to leave Boston immediately. Master Shake then shows Frylock what he spent all the money on. A very detailed drawing of a large light bright similar to the one of the Moon Knights. Before airing, this episode was shelved by Turner Legal in order to avoid any more controversy for the show. However, in 2015, the full episode was leaked online. The episode is unfinished, but most of the voiceovers seem to have been done before cancellation of the episode. Gargoyles is an animated series produced by Disney and is a mainstay for 90s cartoons. Running for 78 episodes and 3 seasons, the show is known for well-written characters and storylines that can sometimes get dark. The most notorious example of this occurs in episode 8, titled Deadly Force. During the episode, Broadway is flying through the city when he sees Elisa's apartment. He opens the window and calls to see if she is home. She says, come inside and make yourself at home. Broadway enters her apartment and she begins cooking a meal for the gargoyles. Meanwhile, Broadway walks around the living room looking at her family photos on the wall. Up until this point, we are watching an ordinary Gargoyles episode, but in the next scene, things go dark. Glancing around the apartment, something catches Broadway's attention. It's Elisa's gun and holster hanging on the coat rack. He decides to pick up the gun and start playing with it, acting like a character from a western. Elisa is in the kitchen cooking with her back turned, so she doesn't notice that he has her gun. Broadway is jumping around and playing when the gun goes off and fires a shot towards the kitchen. He immediately drops the pistol and begins apologizing. He picks up the gun again saying, hope I didn't break anything. He looks in the kitchen to see the meal cooking but doesn't see Elisa. Broadway starts yelling for her and walks in the kitchen to make a shocking discovery. Elisa is lying unconscious in a pool of blood. Later in the episode, Elisa recovers from the gunshot. After many complaints from parents, the episode Deadly Force was removed from the Gargoyles lineup for a long time. Years later, when Toon Disney and Disney XD decided to play episodes of the show, they cut out the scene of Elisa laying in blood. Even though Deadly Force caused much controversy for the show, the creators of the episode remain proud of what they made because it taught a lesson in gun safety. And that is five banned episodes. When I'm researching for these videos, I try to find episodes that have footage available of them. Even though I couldn't find footage of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode, I thought it should make the list because it shows how bad timing can kill an episode off of TV. I'm very intrigued by banned episodes, so I plan on making more content like this. Let me know in the comment section which episode I should go over next, and which entry of this list stood out to you the most. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and until next time, stay up late productions.
Thank you.